guys, thanks for watching TFB TV Showtime. I am Joel, I'm here with Mark from Ruger. We're gonna talk about some of the new offerings. So Mark, let's start off at the top here. What do we got? These are the Ruger Precision Rifles. So we have a whole family here, starting from 22 long rifle, you know, all the way up to 300 PRC. Uh, so we start off the, the Ruger Precision Rifle Series based on the American rifles, basically. So this is basically a Ruger American rimfire model. Okay. So it's got some B-block power bedding, free-floated barrel, this, this nice uh, M-lock handguard. Uh, fed by a Ruger BX-15, but notice it's a very, it's a solid weight uh, diameter barrel. Sure. It's threaded for suppressor use. Okay. You have a fully adjustable trigger, so it's adjustable for, for pull weight. Okay. And then a fully adjustable uh, piece here, so you can lift the lever with just one lever, raise and lower the comb, move the comb fore and aft, and then move the length of pull fore and aft. Excellent. So you can configure this for young shooters, old shooters, big, small, wherever you want. Uh, we have a 30-minute MOA I'm sorry, 30 minute rail. Uh, if you're shooting 22 long range, you, really, you need some help to get it out there. Uh, so I think of all of these, these are really nice guns. This is the least expensive and it's, and it's my, my most favorite. Uh, the 22 long rifle, you, you can shoot for what, a nickel around? Yeah, uh, and learn to play the wind. Sure. Right? I've been seeing uh, a lot of these in the NRL 22 competitions. Yeah, that yeah, I go it's, to. it's a ton of fun. Yep, yep. Uh, it's also in 22 long rifle, but it, I'm sorry, it's also in 22 Magnum and 17 HMR. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so that can really stretch it out and it's still a pretty low cost package. Yeah. Excellent. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Now, the one that started it all was the, the regular precision rifle, the short action precision rifle. So we came out with this in, um, in 308. 65 Creedmoor and 243. It's presently available in 308, 65 Creedmoor, 6 Creedmoor, and then the new 6.5 PRC. Okay. So that's kind of magnum power, you know, in the short action package. Uh, so those are loaded up with the same bullets that you know Hornady puts or other people put in the uh, in the 65 Creedmoor. So it's just like Creedmoor, but another 150, 200 feet a second. Sure. and really can stretch out the range. So it's, yeah. it's a ton of fun and, and it's still a, a modestly sized package. Sure. Okay. And then the big brothers here, the Magnums, uh, we first came out with this in 300 Win Mag okay. uh, and then more recently in 300 PRC. Excellent. Uh, I remember the first time I shot in 300 PRC was at, at home in New Hampshire. It's fairly cold out but not windy at all. Five rounds of PRC. I, I looked at the scope again after reloading the uh, the magazine, I couldn't see anything. That the mirage coming off this was just incredible. So there's a lot of power in that 300 PRC, yeah, and it's still not a not a huge gun. Uh, some of the features on this, we have a ported muzzle brake. Uh, you notice there are four screw holes. You can take those screws out and get just as much recoil reduction as you want, or to, to push the muzzle down so you can so you can watch your hits. You know, in the long range, it's you know if you if you don't hit first time, you want to see where you are and try to correct for it. All right. So you've got a heavy contour barrel. Uh, AI style magazine. All these guns, all the, the centerfire guns, feature an inline recoil path. So if you're, if you're familiar with you know, bedding systems where you really have to lock in a bedding system, action to stock, and then the recoil path kind of goes down through the action back up to the stock. Now this is an inline path, so this bottom piece really doesn't do anything. It doesn't transfer recoil. It holds onto a magazine, holds onto the fire control group, but it doesn't have any effect on accuracy. So it's a fundamentally accurate gun. Uh, we have cold hammer forger on barrels, they're 5R rifling, they're phenomenally accurate, and really they've taken the, the, the precision rifle world by storm by introducing you know, a really high quality, high shooting gun that every man can afford. Absolutely, great entry level guns. And, and what, are the, uh, what are the MSRPs on? Say on the 22, did you say? You know, I, I didn't say, okay. and yeah, the, the prices are on our website. They vary a little bit from the, you know, the, we put some decorations and adornment. Yeah. I, I think you can pick these up for around 350 bucks. We're not asking for a lot. That's cheap. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then uh, the, the MSRP is around two grand for these, but they go for a lot less. So you, you, you get them in the $1,500 range. So, and, you know, we configure some differently again with the, the red, white, and blue stripes. We get Texas models and things like yeah. that. So go on our website, Ruger.com. They're all listed by caliber, all the features are there. Very good. And all of these are available right These now? are all in production, yes. We make them all in our uh, Newport, New Hampshire factory. Awesome. Awesome. Mark, thank you very much. I hope we appreciated uh, Mark's wisdom on these rifles. I know I did. They're a great option in beginner level if you're getting into PRS or anything like that, NRL 22 matches, or just wanting to blink for fun on the Jeep. These are great rifles, guys. So check out Ruger uh, for more information on those, and stay tuned for more great videos here from SHOT Show 2020.